Okay, Donna, so we're just going to go over a couple of things for adding photos to the Loghouse and like your request. So right now I'm in the back end of your website in the Embraco section. So I'm going to show you what I did first to upload new photos to your gallery section. So I came in, I found your B and B section expanded that, and then I went into gallery, expanded that. And what you had done was already added in permanent accommodation one through twenty-three. So what I did was I simply replaced the new photos you gave with gave to me via email. Um and save them over top of the old photos. So, for instance, I went into Pemberton Accommodation 15 through 16 and 17 and just put these new photos in over top of your old photos. So, for instance, what I've done here is I've just uploaded a photo to show you how I did that. So, this is just a tester photo. So, what I did was I came in here, I selected remove file, choose file, now I'm going to select one of the newer images you gave me, double click that, I'm going to save it once, that is going to give me my crop box, so now I can adjust that to however large I want the photo to show online, so if you only want see that much that's what you would see I think you've uh, already got the gist of this as I've seen you've adjusted them for the various photos but I'm gonna make it that big so you can see as much of the photo as possible and then I'm gonna go up and click save and publish now when I preview my page it's gonna allow me to preview Strange, that would usually take me straight to the page, but we'll just go here anyways. So now, host BNB, if we go to the NBNB gallery, we will see that that new photo now sits here. You can see all the other new photos have been added as well. Now, if we wanted to add a new row of photos underneath, we would simply go back to the Embraco section. I would go to the gallery. I would right click on gallery, create. Let's throw test image. Create. That is going to come to the very bottom now. I'm going to go test image as an image title. Now this is just a, just as a demo. I'm going to delete this at the end, but here I've got another image uh, for, for another client we have here. So I'm just going to save. You see I get this again. I'm going to drag it to the size I want. Save and publish. Now, if I went to your website after I've hit save and publish, if I go to the gallery, if I refresh, look at here's this image at the bottom. And that's now incorporated into the entire gallery. Obviously, I'm going to get rid of that, so all we're going to do is go back to here right click delete once that's deleted I go back here refresh you can see the image is now gone um, another thing you might want to do is when I received your new images I received them in the order that they came in the email so all I did was put them in the order they came in the email but if for some reason you wanted to readjust um, the order in which the images were shown 
you would simply go back to Embraco here, right click, sort, and I would say I wanted permanent accommodation triple room one up here. I would just drag it, or if I wanted it down, I would drag it down here. I'm going to put it back to where it was. Save. And that would readjust the order in which that image was shown. Now I would suggest going through these and possibly renaming them because when I go to a gallery, I want my images to be named after the image that they actually correspond with. Just so if I needed to make changes, if I needed to replace the image like I'd shown you before, um, or if I needed to find an image quickly, instead of it being permanent accommodation six, I would probably name this, you know, Pemberton accommodation flowers. This would become Pemberton accommodation winter shot. This would become Pemberton accommodation winter shot daylight. And the only reason I would do that is just so when I had to organize things, it was a little easier than having to click on each one to figure out what was what. So if I did want to do that, for instance, I would go to, we're on Pemberton Accommodation 4 team, I would go to right click Sorry, permanent accommodation 14, I would just go into the properties tag and I'm going to rename this one Pemberton Accommodation Queenslay One. Save and publish. And now you can see it shows up on the left hand side as Pemberton Accommodation Queen Slate 1. Okay, so that kind of solves your, your issues for uploading new images um, or adding new images to this gallery section which you may or may not want to change in the future. Now you had addressed another question about your booking section and you wanted to change an image. So now what I'm guessing here, so if I go to bookings and I preview the page, that takes me to the section that you were talking about. I'm guessing you want this image in the upper left hand side changed. So what I'm going to do is go back to the Embraco section. The image that you're looking for is in the top section here under header images. So I simply click on that, uh, and now you can see the two images that are up here are listed here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the prerequisites up here. So I'm going to crop my new image to make it 360 pixels high and 269 pixels wide. Because if I don't do that, it's not going to fit nicely in this little border here. So, what you need is some sort of third-party photo, Photoshop, or if you're on a Mac, it would be fo or, uh, iPhoto. So what I would do here is, I would open up, what I have here is Corel Photo, photo Paint. Bear with me, it usually takes a minute for this to upload. And I'm going to take the new image that I want to insert onto this page and I'm going to crop it to these proper dimensions. So let's see if Corel launched yet. No, it's still loading. Corel's often the long and bloated. Okay. 
So for instance, if I needed my new image to fit those dimensions, I'm just going to take this photo here, for instance. And I'm going to create it as a custom size. So let me just refer to my web page. So it's 360 by 269. So I go in here. Three sixty. Sorry, three sixty height. Two sixty nine width, and that's going to give me a border like this. So what I would do is I would take that crop it to my dimensions. Here you go. I've got this ready to go, so I would save that as a new image. Crop version. Save it to somewhere that I can access it. I usually always save things I'm working with in my desktop. Okay. Now, when I get to this section, I would simply remove file, choose file, and I would double click my crop version in there. Now, I'm not going to do that right now because if I save and open this, it's going to get rid of the old photo in there for good. And I know this isn't the crop version of the photo you want. I'm sure it would be something a little tidier, possibly the exact same section of this room but just with your updates so once again I come in here I've cropped my photo to 269 wide 360 high I've clicked remove file choose file I'm going to double click my cropped version in open the new version is going to set up here and then I would simply click save and publish save and publish and then afterwards to preview my work I hit this preview tab and my new image should come up right here so hopefully um, this has been a, a bit of a, uh, a crash course and on how you would upload these new images if you have any questions simply give me a call at 250-893-4067. Uh, That's always the best way to talk to me. All right.